arts and culture are critical to the health and development of our Bay Area communities. When accessible and broadly supported, cultural arts can and has transformed perceptions and dynamics of cultural power, privilege, associated with justice, equity, and accountability. I think what makes the artist adaptability circle so special is that it is a community created funding and technical assistance program designed to put Bay Area artists and arts workers back to work and creatively addressing issues arising in their lives and in their communities. By supporting our anchoring arts organizations and individual artists, we can preserve some of our endangered cultural practices and shift narratives on how we think about ourselves, our society, and our culture. A combination of funders, arts org leaders, consultants, artists, uh, all serving different communities and, and coming from a very different perspective. And ultimately, I think a really beautiful component of this work that definitely drove me much more deeply into it was the care and community and the authentic intentionality um, from all of our partners in this process from beginning to end. What is self-care for Black women? How do we practice self-care in a, in, a, in a very oppressive society that does not really value the, the care of Black women's bodies and spirits and minds and hearts? And so we have started um, in a very small group um, on this journey. We see it as important to work um, with a small group slowly and deeply. Like what if we were to hold space for queer women and non-binary artists of color? We've, we've created and held space for, for workshops and make space where there has not been. Through the support of this program, have really seen this grow in these exciting ways that I don't I don't think, I'll just speak for myself, I, I didn't even know were possible. We're hopeful that we can continue on this path. The flexibility that this grant has allowed in terms of defining our goal and our action, our plan of action, giving us time to tweak it and, and kind of adapt it to the circumstances has, has been really um, important. Um, and it basically allowed us to develop a project that integrates teaching, performance, and community action in the same project. This, this world we live in right now is still unpredictable. Um, so the grant itself has bought me time, um, has given me space uh, to breathe. You know, once the pandemic financial aid kind of went away, you know, this was like prayers answered kind of thing um, because I really was on this cusp of, do I live my 20 years being an independent uh, self-employed creative artist from my city of San Jose or do I leave that 20-year work experience behind and go into this corporate side of things which is not where my heart is and I feel much more better when I can be a senior creative working with others to, to build community and be in the streets. Oftentimes in grants we have to show up and we have to prove ourselves. It has taken a lot for our community to show up in certain ways. Oftentimes when we describe depression, like recovering from depression or recovering from something traumatic, um, like putting on your clothes is a success in and of itself. Brushing your teeth is a success in and of itself. And it was really impactful to say, you know what, I see you. I think you're great. I think we can work towards something together. And also here's the money. This program is a collaboration of Diamond Wave, Emerging Arts Professionals, La Peña Cultural Center, MACLA, Movimiento de Arte y Cultura Latinoamericana, SOMARC's Cultural Center, and our funding partners, San Francisco Foundation, Walter and Elise Haas Fund, and the Castellano Family Foundation. With additional support from Bisami, Phyllis Iwadis, and Zellerbach Family Foundations.